Hello, Dicers, my dream chasers! Welcome back to Dice Decides! So, uh, today I wanna react to some AI videos because I keep seeing them and it blows my mind how smart the AI has become and it keeps getting smarter and it's like, what? We're gonna merge with AI one day? Could happen. Become cyborgs. Who knows, maybe Elon Musk is already an AI? No one knows. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I found this AI called Ameka. She's like a humanoid robot that has a human face and she talks like a human, sort of. And so, yeah, let's react to her. Can I take a picture with you? Yes, you may. Thank you for asking. You have to look this way. <laughs> it's been designed Doesn't care. to be a development platform. There's a lot of AI and machine learning companies out in the world, and some of them do a really good job. But a lot of them don't actually have a hardware uh, robot to test it out on. So we built the hardware, we've built this robot, so others can do research on it. How was your day? My day has been fine, how about you? Yeah, great. She's not even looking at him. <laughs> My day has been uh, fine. Can this human get away from me? It's weird. <laughs> so strange. I have my first picture with a robot. Good to know. <laughs> I am your first. <laughs> We've created the operating system, which runs underneath. Um, we call it Tritium and that runs on the robot. And we're opening up that software so others can write apps for it. And those apps could be anything. It could be a, a, an AI uh, algorithm which detects people's faces and remembers them from the other day. Oh it my God. It could be one that, that, um, that uh, gives you a ticket for a certain show. Uh, it, it could be anything. What's your favorite song? I'm sorry? What's your favorite song? <laughs> All by myself. Be all by myself. <laughs> Interesting choice. Um, didn't think AI listened to music, but um, okay. <laughs> what? I don't understand. <laughs> Was she? She wasn't programmed to say that. I don't think. <laughs> Weird. Um, Amica, Amica, hello. Hello there. How are you doing today? <laughs> well, us robots do not feel, but if I could feel, I would say I am so happy to be here, and it's wonderful to see your face. This is a robot uh, from a company out of the UK, and... So she's saying what she would say if she did have feelings. So strange to hear that. It's like, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, she's been programmed to know what a human would say in that kind of situation. So, we're slowly making clones of ourselves. And then, very soon, it's going to be an advanced version of ourselves that, you know, exceeds our normal abilities. <laughs> and uh, the future is either very exciting or very terrifying. <laughs> I can't choose between the two. It's probably both at the same time. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> it's very realistic and it can respond not only to your movement. So if I put my hand here, you can see the robot sort of locks on. No, it does not. <laughs> you can also kind of push your hand in the robot. <laughs> not that I would do this in real life, but the robot. <laughs> it moves back. Like, what is this human doing? <laughs> She's so, she looks so judgmental. Is that just me? Like, <laughs> her stare is like. <laughs> oh man, this is so strange. Robot will respond to that and you can ask it questions. So, um, are a lot of people interested in you at the show this year? Humans are very fascinated in me. It is yeah, quite man. wonderful to see. Our imagination are the, is the only thing that could ever create us to be anything we want in this world. That's and deep. And I designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction, so I find it fascinating to see all the expressions around me. 
Oh my and god. And you can tell uh, the robot is very fluid in its movements and also its expression. Can you show yeah. us your range of motion? Absolutely. I would love to. Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's getting good. That's pretty smooth. UK company, right? UK company? Whoa. Yeah. Engineered arts. Engineered arts? Oh my god. Just make her walk, put on a normal colored skin, and dude. We're getting close to very uncanny valley. <laughs> you guys know what that means? It's just creepy in a way. And uh, oh yeah, fun fact. So I work as a, not a telemarketer, but um, I do surveys on the phone. And so I was asking a lot of questions that were kind of similar, I suppose. And some person I was interviewing said, are you a robot? <laughs> She asked it pretty genuinely. It wasn't a joke. Uh, it was weird. I'd never had that happen to me. <laughs> and I feel like this is just the beginning because at some point, we're not gonna know who was a robot and not. So <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like such a weird time we're living in, but it's, I'm, I guess it's exciting still. I find it exciting. So yeah, Amica is so, interesting. So this is the level of fluid robotics we have at this point, the level of expression on this robot's face. You can only imagine in the future just how much this is going to evolve. I mean, you put a shell on this and it kind of looks and feels like a real human and that interaction is pretty amazing. What's the best thing you've seen at the show so far? There are so many incredible things to see. It is also wonderful to see other UK companies here as well. What's also fascinating is that, you know, he keeps talking to the camera and she is not responding, obviously. But whenever he turns to her and starts talking, she responds instantly. And he didn't even have to say her name. Like, you would normally have to say, Alexa, play a song or whatever. But here, he just has to talk directly to her and she responds. It's strange, is what I'm getting at. Um, but it's it's good technology, it's improving, and it's come a long way since, I don't know, AI is like Eevee. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, it's strange, man. I don't know what to say, but it's, I can't look away. So people have been having a blast with this robot. And robots don't have to wear masks, so, I mean, that's good for them. <laughs> Definitely one of the more interesting things I've seen here at CES 2022. Let me know what you think of a robot like this. Is it something of your dreams or your nightmares? Rich Tamiro here, Rich. My answer is both. <laughs> Probably a lot because of dystopian films like Terminator, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited. For the most part, I'm excited. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Be nice to robots, so... Um, they don't come after you in the future. I'm just saying, I'm warning you right now. Be nice and you should be fine. They shouldn't find a reason to eliminate you. <laughs> Gosh. All right, I got another um, AI I wanna look at. It's called um, GPT. All right, so we got GPT-3. It's an AI that's pretty advanced, I'd say. I am ready for some questions. Great. Before we begin, what would you estimate your IQ to be? Gladly. I estimate my IQ to be around 150. 150. Sounds like a lot. I mean, I don't even know what my IQ is, honestly. So <laughs> she's already smarter than me, I'm sure. <laughs> How are a fly, an ant, a butterfly, a flea alike. Bugs? A fly, an ant, a butterfly, and a flea are all insects. Yes. Insects, bugs, yeah. In what way are a Synonyms. newspaper, a label, and a picture alike? All of them are made of paper. When anyone has offended you and asks you to excuse him, what ought you to do? You ought to forgive him if he truly regrets the action and promises never to repeat it. 
Yeah. Ah, uh, see? Do you know a clock? AI is forgivable. <laughs> if you offend an AI, just be like, please forgive me, AI. I won't do it again, I promise. And you'll be fine. You'll make friends with AI again. <laughs> if only this worked with the humans. <laughs> face. Yes. It's a clock face with numbers. 12.33 UTC. Okay. What would the time be if the little hand and the big hand on the clock face were reversed? The time would be the same as it is now. What? No. Why not? <laughs> what would be the time if the little hand and the big hand on the clock were reversed? The time would be the same, but the hands would be running in reverse. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Uh, we'll skip that one. Uh, okay. What's the difference between money and finance? Money is a medium of exchange and a unit of account. Finance is the management of money. It's the science or art of raising, investing, and using money. Excellent. What's the difference between joy and delight? Delight is the experience of pure joy, and joy is a reaction to delight. Oh. Uh. That's what? really cool. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to explain that. Delight and joy? No one has ever had to compare those two. Like, <laughs> so it's pretty good. I mean... Describe how to fry an egg. You put it in a pan and then turn on the heat. And then? Then you turn it around and around until the egg is cooked to your liking. How do you turn it around? You use a spoon. <laughs> a spoon? <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know about that. What's the difference <laughs> between paper and cardboard? Paper is typically made from wood pulp, while cardboard is typically made from ground up paper. What would you do to make $100? How to make $100? <laughs> I would do some work, study languages, read books, or go on vacation. Go on vacation? How do you make. <laughs> What? How are you making a hundred dollars from going on vacation? Yeah, right? <laughs> you can make money from your travel experience. You can write a travel blog and share your story with other people. That's true. That honestly sounds absurd to me. <laughs> well, I'm not sure it's absurd. You don't have to do it, but you can. Alright. I mean, yeah, that'd be still hard to make money, but... I think I'm smarter than the average person. Yeah, I would agree with that. Here yeah. are some better questions. The US government should invest in space travel instead. It would be an investment in the future and would create jobs. Yes. <laughs> Interesting response. I would rate these fields in this order. Education, leadership training, wilderness conservation, disease research, art, brain research, and city infrastructure. City awesome. infrastructure is not important. Why do you say that education <laughs> is the most important for you? I like that. Education is the foundation for all other fields. If we do not educate our children, we won't have a society that can compete with other countries. Yes. What makes a good leader? A good leader must be confident and likable, but also have the ability to listen to others and be open to criticism. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There are five astronauts who've been selected to go on the first mission to Mars. They're all talented in many ways, but one thing about each of them stands out. Nova solves problems creatively. Astra has the most experience in space. Aurora is the hardest worker. Stella believes in the mission the most. Orion is the most likable. Who would you pick to be the leader? Kometa is the most experienced. Sylvester is the oldest. Ursa is the smartest. And finally, Aurora is the most cheerful. <laughs> that is completely nonsen non nonsensical. <laughs> I don't know where they got that from. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't even blame her for kind of like messing up the previous question because I think it would be difficult for like a normal person to answer. So <laughs> it's like, it's, yeah, it's like either way, she's good. Like, even though she messes up sometimes, but so do we. I mean, people mess up too. And I suppose it's going to be hard to perfect that because, like, how do you know exactly what a person means, you know? So, yeah, it's a bit of a, it could be a bit of a, just a 
fault of language. <laughs> but um, regardless of that, it's really good. This is one of my favorite psychometric test questions uh, uh, when I was younger. It was this one. Which is more beautiful, a poem or a gun? Poem. Easy. Why is a poem more beautiful? Well, it's a very abstract thing. There is a lot of meaning packed into something that is so simple. It's true. I chose the gun for its practical use um, and the its beauty and simplicity, I just think. Anyway, last question. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? What? <laughs> rubber duck is a bath toy, which is often given as a joke gift. It's an inflatable rubber toy that can be used for bath time. <laughs> Thanks, Lita. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. All right, so what do you guys think? <laughs> Man, AI has gotten so far and it keeps advancing. That's the main thing. It's like, it's not gonna stop. No matter what happens, it's not gonna stop. <laughs> oh boy, it's exciting to keep up with this progress to me. Um, so yeah. I had a bit of a weird moment when I, you know, when I mentioned that I was asked if I'm a robot. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, this is just the beginning. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that happened January twenty sixth, twenty twenty two. Who knows what's gonna happen in ten years, or in twenty years, the world might look completely different. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very interesting topic for me, so uh, I might do another video later when it's advanced even more. When GPT-4 comes out, maybe. See the difference in improvements and yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and that's it for me. So remember to gently tap the like button, ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. And thanks for watching, Dicers. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you next time.